All right, what's going on, people? Uh, today's uh, mid mid market uh, futures recap. Um, we didn't wasn't really that. Uh, it wasn't much of excitement um, to in the to in in the morning session today. Um, you know, as expected on a on a Fed day when you know we have federal stuff going on in the afternoon, we don't really pick. Um, you don't really have too much, um, um, you know, action going on in the in the morning session. Um, so you can see, like, we're just uh, trading around, you know, in this um, range. Looking at the daily uh, daily chart. Let's see, get my thoughts together. Right. Still haven't broken. We haven't even. Um, like we we kind of attempted to break the the high of yesterday. I think that was in the pre market though. All right, so let's just mark that there. I right, moved over to the five minute. Yeah, so that happened in the pre market, um, but like the first hour, the first hour or so, we were really choppy. I wasn't even really watching it at this time. Um, I, I was glancing because I was you know, busy with other things as well. But I was, you know, I wasn't expecting any real movement today because of uh, the FOMC um, stuff at fourteen hundred. So I was only just glancing at it, you know, when I, you know, in between the working on, you know, my other stuff, and I saw it was really choppy. Um, so I was, you know, I definitely wasn't trying to get in. And, and then I watched it break this area here. Um, I was about to get in. Let me expand it a little bit. I was about to get in, in at this area. I started watching it again. I was about to place an order to get in short there. But, you know, the, the price action was still, you know, really choppy. Um, so I ended up. Matter of fact, let's go over to TS Trader so I can really. So I ended up taking a trade there on the Russell, which was I did I I was thinking to to go in on um on the Nasdaq, but I was over here on the wrong charts and I put placed the order in on the Russell and I got filled before I you know noticed what I did. So I once I went ahead and actually I placed the order and then I realized. That it was, you know, the wrong um, contract. So I tried to cancel it, but I got filled right before I hit the cancel button. So it filled me in, and when it was in profit, I went ahead and uh, took myself out of the trade because I really hadn't done. Um, I haven't really. I wasn't really looking at the Russell that much. So I, you know, just to be on the safe side, I went ahead and took myself while I, out while I was still green, and I took a ten dollar scout from there. Um, and in hindsight, of course, I think it before it popped down, it pulled back a little bit, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then it, you know, it dropped down. So really, it would have that trade would have would have worked out. But um, then I started watching. I went, you know, I started looking back at the Nasdaq, and the Nasdaq was, you know, even more choppy. And then seeing all this. Um, how choppy it was over here uh, when I decided, you know, um, not to take the order. I mean, not to take the trade. I placed the order, then I removed it, and it looked like I made a good decision because it, you know, it popped higher for a minute within this uh, five minute candle. Um, let's see if I can bring it up on a one minute. All right. Yeah, so like uh, when we were in this candle, I placed the order, and then I didn't like the price action, so I removed the order, and I saw this green candle come in, and it started to you know look like it was going to go bullish. So I stopped watching it for like for like a for like one minute, like literally one minute, and then I looked back at it, and where I would have placed my order, um, it had already you know passed that area, so. You know, I missed it, so I didn't want to, you know, try to get in 
especially with it still being you know somewhat choppy at that time i didn't want to just get a late entry and then end up pulling pulling back and stopping me out so i just let it go and where I, I did end up taking it a little later right here i figured if we break this area here we saw strong support here before if we break that area plus i'm thinking that um a bearish play today makes more sense and you know with how strong of a bullish day we had yesterday and we still we didn't have a real pullback yet so with all those factors and i went ahead and placed the order here but um so it, it triggered me in popped down like it was i got i caught a little slippage because it the price action um uh, the price you know jumped down or it and uh it gave me a little bit of slippage so um, I ended up getting out of the trade a little early because it was still, um, it looked like I was catching some resistance to keep going lower, but which um, it wouldn't, I would not have hit target if I would have held it, but I really, I, I should have just let it play out. But anyway, I ended up taking the profit where it was, so that puts me at $40 for the day. Um, it's not much, especially taking with the last two uh, red days that I had, but still this, you know, there's no red streak because I, you know, I have a green day today. So, from I avoided having uh, starting a starting a red streak. So, you know, that's a that's a positive takeaway. So, um, I guess we'll still be. I won't be trading it, but um, we should have some interesting price action after fourteen hundred after the uh, the Fed news. Um, if I'm still awake at that time, I'll watch it, but. I'm I'm not going to trade it. I'll just come back and and see what I can get tomorrow. So um That's my day and I will see y'all tomorrow for the pre-market insight.